What is one thing you have never tried and have no desire to ever try? Scuba diving in caves. The thought of not being able to surface is terrifying. I love swimming. Grew up next to the beach and have dived a lot but being unable to head vertically up for air makes it a definite no-go for me. Cave diving. Get turned around and your fate is frantically looking to retrace your path as your oxygen runs out and you eventually drown. There's enough things that can go wrong with diving. I don't understand wanting to take away the ability to go to the surface quickly if necessary. Piercings for my dick. Hell no keep that sharp away from me. Potholing. Exploring them underground caves with the tiny gaps you have to squeeze through. Auto erotic asphyxiation. Swimming under the ice of a lake. Edit. Thanks for all the upvotes guys and gals. That's crazy. Bungee jumping. I know it is safe. I know nothing will happen. I won't try as I'm just too scared nevertheless. A broken rubber brought me into this world. Surströming. I do however enjoy watching YouTube videos of people eating and uneating it. New Year's Eve in Times Square. I love doing all the touristy stuff here. But that's one I would never do, unless of course. Someone put me up in a fancy hotel overlooking the scene. Incest. What are you doing? Step Cobra. Scat play. Just. Skeebi da be da da dub dub. Sounding. A pee fetish where the girl SPs in your mouth. What the? Ballot. Meth. And spelunking. Deep sea diving. I don't like water where I can't see my feet. Because of this my brain irrationally believes there is a jaws all around me at all times if in deep water. Thus it makes me basically go 0-100 panic attack. I have zero interest in this. And so I never will. Skydiving. Fat man plummeting towards the earth just doesn't sound appealing. Edit. Thank you for appreciating the joke about my weight enough to. Ahem. Nuke my inbox. Accidental atomic bomb joke. Fugu. Japanese puffer fish. Expensive delicacy. The tetrodotoxin the fish produces and stores in a bladder has to be carefully excised by the fugu chef or else it will invisibly poison the diner. Hard pass. I don't care how long the chef has to study under a master fugu chef before being allowed to serve customers. I don't care if the flavor of fugu induces instant org SM. I'm not rolling those dice. Every description of the flavor I've seen calls it mild or delicate which are polite ways of saying bland. I'm not down to risk my life for a culinary experience that's basically on par with a filio fish. Shoving a pineapple up my ass. Second marriage. Eating live animals. Not a vegan but people eating live frogs. Cock and ball torture. Testicular torsion. Sounding. One of these things is not like the others. Swinging cuckolding. Watching my wife getting nailed by another guy is the stuff of nightmares. Edit. Whoa. Thanks for the replies. And my first awards too. Thank you. I don't have anything against the lifestyle at all. It's just not for me. I've turned down 4 threesomes in my time. All of which have involved the so at the time. Even the opportunities with my so and another girl, whilst very tempting, just felt potentially ruinous. Or when my so offers me a threesome with another girl my brain just says it's a trap. Russian roulette. Hard drugs. Life of crime in prison. I envy people who never tried smoking. I gave up more than 10 years ago and still have cravings. Banzai the sport where you're at 3000 kilometers. Height. Then you have to throw your parachute and 30 seconds later you jump. Your objective is to catch parachute. It would be a nice death at least. You know. When someone asked your parent how you die they would be like. Shit I at this homie had really big balls. Edit. 3000 meters. Skydiving. Why? If anything goes wrong. You have the rest of your life to fix it. 
cocaine. I had opportunities in college. 2. But yeah. I watched the people that were on coke and didn't want to do that. It's the most overrated drug on the planet. It's expensive. It doesn't last long. You always want more when it's gone. And you feel like garbage the next day. I do like the numbing effect though. For a similar experience. Drink a small pot of Deathwish coffee and power chew a few throat lozenges. That should save you about $70. Colon. Crack. Heroin. Having sex with a prostitute. Edit. Getting shot in the head. I'll try it once. Going to space. It freaks me out. I feel like everything that could go wrong. Would go wrong. It absolutely terrifies me. Meth. Going to a strip club. Just not my style. I was in Vegas on summer of 2017 with a bunch of friends and we still didn't go to one. Long time ago. A friend and I were drinking through the night. And he really wanted to go. I'm just not into it. He's having a grand old time while I found a comfortable booth to relax nap in. Two strippers nudge my foot to wake me up and ask if I wanted a lap dance. No. I want a nap. Leave me alone. Coprophilia. Don't google it if you don't know what it is. You will regret it. Drugs in general. I hate feeling like I'm not in control of my faculties or even laughing gas at the dentist is too much for me. So I'll just continue to stay away. Small doses of caffeine are pretty much my only drug. Spice. The drug. Yeah that. I know I can't even hack weed. That spice would me up beyond belief. I don't need that in my life. E. Having a kid. I know coconut. Edit. Thank you for my first award kind stranger. Skydiving. I get people's want to do it after the second time for the adrenaline rush and that. But for the life of me. I do not understand what compels someone to be you know what. Today I want to jump out of a plane and rely on cloth to bring me down safely. I have no issue with heights or flying. But that just boggles me. Edit. Well this blew up on the replies front. Replied to a few. But there's just too many guys. SX. NL. I'm a guy but I just don't like the idea of it. It's okay. I wouldn't refuse to do it. But I also wouldn't ask for it. Like yeah it feels good and it's different and enjoyable and can be very pleasurable for both parties. I'm a girl and I don't like the idea of it either. Cheating my partner. Algier board. Like. I don't believe in ghosts. So the way I see it. There's two possibilities. Either I'm right. And it's a complete and total waste of time. So why even bother in the first place? Or I'm wrong. In which case I'm dealing with some supernatural bull I am in no way prepared for. Dying. Heroin. Gambling. I don't believe in it. At all. I have never bought a lottery ticket. Nor have I been in a casino. And I never will. I'll bet you five dollars you'll slip up one day. Smoking. It has no single long term positive aspect. NL. Having kids. Getting married. Hard drugs. Having someone in my mouth. Oysters. I tried one once. I felt like someone with a very thick throat just spat into my mouth. Needless to say. I spat it out immediately as the gag reflex set in. Drugs. Basically any of them. Smoking. Basically anything addictive. I've got a family history of severe addiction and don't need to play with fire. Getting drunk. I'm afraid of losing control over myself. I'm also afraid of vomiting. Smoking. I don't want to get addicted to it. And there's no reason to try it just once. Because the first cigarette tastes terrible, or so I've heard. The first few times you get a buzz. Then before you realize it I've been smoking for 16 years. Watching Tiger King. Bungee jump. That. 
I'm not a yo-yo. Yo. Drugs. I know some people might find this stupid of me. But I've never had the desire to get high. It's not worth the lasting consequences and addiction to me. Marijuana. I'm mid 30s and never tried it. And probably never will. I have no problem with it. I've signed several petitions over the years to legalize it. But shrug men. Have no desire to. Sucking a dick. It's so much fun. You should try it. This whole comment section is a good bucket list. Alcohol and cigarettes I just think they're a waste of money and I will never try it. Yeah I don't drink and everybody assumes I have some moral or religious reason. Nah. I've just never wanted to. Meth and crack. I am not into drugs. I read this as math and crack. And it still made sense. Eating ass. On a one night stand? Hell no. With a so with sanitary precautions beforehand? Why not? When you are 18 hell no when you are 35 hell yes. Marriage and kids. I'm a few months away from being 30. Adult life is BS. I'm one of those people who genuinely doesn't have a dream job or enjoys working. I put up with it to have a roof over my head. Feed myself. And fund my hobbies but that's it. Consequently. That means the majority of my life is going to be spent doing I don't want to do in a place I don't want to be. Then of course come things like chores etc. Which have to be done but I don't get paid for. I realized all of this at 23 and even quit dating and bothering to put effort into so much as hooking up. 8 hours of sleep after working full time, any sx I had before I checked out of the game. Plus I can't imagine making sacrifices or compromises for anyone, woman or kid, and using what pathetic amount of free time I get in this life to make someone else happy. It simply ain't happening. Sorry. Not sorry. After reading about your positive outlook on life it's probably a good idea. Wow that's depressing. Radishes. They're freaking delicious. Just put some olive oil and seasoning. Put them in the oven for a bit. And bam. Mini dirt apples. Drugs. Escort services. Prostitution. Murder. SX with mail. Testing positive for COVID. Sounds like a good Saturday night. Cleveland steamers. Butt stuff. Getting pregnant. No thank you. Going on a cruise ship. Even before COVID. I couldn't believe people would confine themselves for days on end to a floating cesspool of germs. I'm no germaphobe either. I used to fly all the time. Cottage cheese. Like no. Consentingly taking it in the pooper. Wait. Are you saying you would want non-consensual butt stuff? So far from scrolling we got. Deep sea cave diving. Meth. Cocaine most hard drugs. Skydiving and bungee jumping in an L. Hard drugs. I have lost family and friends to addiction. It's just not worth it. Horse cum. Your loss. I'm almost full centaur now. As a woman. A lot of sx acts that have been normalized by PRN. I feel at this rate I have to have a list of dons to establish with men rather than the fun SR list of dos. Are you trying to tell me you don't enjoy having your clit slapped? Getting face head until you puke. And then getting jackhammered while pretending you're having the time of your life? That doesn't seem like fun. Roller coasters. People call me crazy. But I'd just rather not. I'm more of a scrambler fan where I'm close to the ground. For reference. I can barely climb a ladder without freaking out so anything involved with heights is a no from me. Fighting an M1A2 Abrams tank would be pretty high up there. Watching got. Getting pregnant. Doing drugs like heroin or LSD or shrooms. Any type of extreme sports. To be fair. That would be a busy weekend. LSD and shrooms can't be put in the same category as heroin. Definitely stay the away from heroin but psychedelics are a completely different thing. LSD or any kind of psychedelics. 
I've had weed chocolate in just recently 25% of a weed gummy and that ED me up. If I ever want to figure out the meaning of life or if I want to write one of the best screenplays in the world I will take another one. But I can't because when I was on the high. I contemplated suicide. That's a normal everyday occurrence to me that I overcome daily. But it was multiplied by 500. I had to be near someone. The demons in my head told me why not do it. You're going to live sad for the rest of your life. Do it. And I was like. That's deep. So. If I took a psychedelic. I'd see. Not cool. Something that might surprise you is a proper dose of a psychedelic in a professional setting has had profound effects on people who are depressed. Anxiety ridden. Suicidal. Like. Giving them a whole new outlook on life kind of effect. I would not recommend. However. Trying them on your own at home or whatever. Sending nudes. Even to my fiance registered sign. I trust him infinitely but I don't trust that I couldn't get hacked somehow and have my images stolen. Especially if they automatically get stored in the cloud. I know that sounds paranoid af but honestly I am definitely super paranoid about putting anything incriminating out on the internet or even through text. Never tried marijuana. I have nothing against it. But I just don't have any desire to try it. Mostly because I hate the smell. I know you can get different strains. And edibles and stuff that won't smell. But I have no reason to go out of my way to get my hands on them. I'm good without it. Cigarettes. Booze and marijuana. I'm 63 years old. Never had a smoke or a drink. And I'm fine with it. Just not interested. Eating ass. I don't wipe a tongue's length deep in my asshole and I'm guessing y'all don't either. I don't see why it's all the craze. While I'm sure it would feel great to have my wrinkle grommet's tongue punched. I just feel like there's way too much maintenance upkeep required to keep that balloon not free and clear of morsels. You don't wipe it a tongue length deep. You wash it. Jesus. Deep sea night diving. Watching pornography or exposing my breasts to strangers. Username checks out. Is it because you are insecure about the size shape of your breasts? Send me a picture of them and I'll give you an honest opinion. Ride a horse. Those things are I'm terrifying. They're dangerous at both ends and crafty in the middle. I scrolled for quite some time and no one has said murder. Suicide. I would rather kill myself. An LSX. Vegemite. Angie upside down noises. An L. An L. I can barely even touch my chocolate starfish. In my mind it's a one way poop shoot and I don't want my digit smelling like my girlfriend's bunghole. Thankfully she shares my sentiment and I anticipate on proposing tomorrow. So fingers crossed I'll never have to try it.